Hello, my most amazing artist. Let me introduce you to the artist, Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma Thomas was an African-American expressionist painter and art educator or art teacher, best known for her colorful abstract paintings. She was known for all of the pattern, color, and rhythm that her paintings had. Notice they're painted with a lot of different little lines going around that middle circle. Today, I'm going to be creating a collage inspired by Alma Thomas's artwork. Starting out right by writing my name and class code on the back of my paper with pencil. Then I'm going to flip it over to the front. Now on the front, I'm going to be using my pencil and a big circle tracer. Now this is a lid. If you don't have a lid, you could be using a bowl or you could be using a plate, anything that you can hold still with one hand while you use your pencil to trace around with the other hand. So now that I have done my pencil all the way around, I can take off my circle and there we go, a perfect circle. It doesn't have to be perfect though, as long as you have that light circle outline, that's gonna help you a lot. Now I'm going to get my glue stick using those art muscles to pull that lid off. And now I'm actually going to use this lid as another circle tracer. This circle is going to be a much smaller circle to put in the center, just like Alma Thomas started a lot of her paintings. So notice I'm doing the same technique, but this time I only have to hold it down with one finger as I trace around it with my other. So now that I have that little circle with whatever color paper you want, I'm going to use my scissors to carefully cut around that circle, making sure I'm doing baby shark chomps. If I were to do daddy shark chomps or chomping like crazy with a wide open scissors, then that circle would be very messy and I wouldn't get all around that little edge. I'm making sure to hold my paper with one hand as my other cutting hand does the opening and closing. My left hand, in this case, because I cut with my right, does all of the paper turning and all the moving. Now I'm going to get my glue stick and put a big dot of glue in the middle. Then I'm going to stick down that circle. Remember, a glue stick works by pushing up on the bottom or turning it whenever you need more glue. Now I'm gonna stick it down to the middle, hold it down for a few seconds, and it's good to go. Now I'm going to pick whatever color strip of paper from my basket that I want. You have lots of different colors you can choose from. You can pick whatever color you want. And I'm going to rip that paper. When I'm ripping the paper, I'm holding it with one hand, and with the other, I'm tearing in a downward motion, using those art muscles again and making sure I'm tearing all little strips of paper. So I'm taking my big paper and making it into lots of little ones. Now I'm going to pick another color and do the same thing. Now notice I'm placing my papers down in the shape of a circle. Even though these papers aren't the shape of a circle, only that middle one was. This is what's called concentric circles. When you draw circles around circles, around circles, around circles. But wait, there was a problem with those papers. Those papers weren't glued down, silly Miss Q. It's time to make sure that I put lots of glue around the two circles I was about to do, and then I can place them down in that glue. Trying not to get my fingers too sticky, but it'll be okay. This is probably the fastest way to do this. If you were to put glue on every little paper, that would take forever. So I'm taking a little bit of a shortcut by placing that glue in a circle and then laying it down in there and just having fun making my pattern. Now notice when I stick it down, I'm making sure that I complete my full circle with one color before I switch to the next. I'm also making sure I leave a little tiny gap of white space. I'm leaving a little tiny bit of white space in between so that you can tell that these are all separate rectangular pieces of paper that I tore. If I wanted it to be just one solid color with no white space in between, then we would have used a marker and just colored in our circles. But the idea is that you have all these little shapes that make up your full picture and your full dot. So I can work a little bit faster here. Remember, I'm really taking my time but this video is moving fast. So I just wanted to show you how I'm skipping some time by placing the glue down in a couple circles. I go round and round and then tear my paper and place it down. I'm tearing my paper as I go so that way the glue doesn't dry on me. Making sure I always put a new ring of glue and never letting it sit for too long before it dries. Then I always wanna do the wiggle test, making sure I lift my paper up and give it a little wiggle and if any papers fall out, 
Well, I gotta glue them back on in that case. I'm going to keep going with new colors until I reach almost the edge of my dot. When there's no room to do any more of those concentric circles, well then it's time to do what Vashti did in the book The Dot and sign your artwork. And artwork isn't finished till you sign it. Then I'm using my scissors to do baby shark chomps, not daddy shark chomps, because you'll notice it'll go crazy and I don't get a nice cut. So I'm holding with my non-cutting hand, that's holding my paper and turning it as I go, as my cutting hand is using the scissors to open and close, open and close. Little baby shark chomps is what's going to make sure that I get a nice clean cut all around my dot. Then I'm gonna crumple up my scraps to throw out and I'm good to go. I have an amazing Alma Thomas inspired artwork. Just make sure to clean up after yourself and leave your studio space better than you found it. All right, awesome artists. I cannot wait to see what you create in celebration of Dot Day. Have fun.